What is happening people, this is welcome back to another video. I am T2 Sugars and today I am in Aberdeen. I'm at a little dog groomers, which is being built at the moment. So uh, I've been let in. This is uh, still an ongoing project for them. And uh, it's called K9 Bark and Sides. They have just opened up the polythene <laughs> and um, let me in. So uh, the back wall here is what I'm going to be painting, this corner section here. And um, there's going to be a Springer Spaniel and a Poodle painted on the wall with this big splash of colour just to give this uh, quite a white backdrop uh, a bit of vibrancy. So um, yeah, I'm going to tape up all the ceiling, uh, all the splash guards down the bottom and the floor in a minute so uh, we can get started. So I've got everything taped up now, I put a plastic sheet on the ceiling, plastic sheet on the floor because everything in here now is like brand new. Um, there's all plastic sheeting already on the panels around the sides, but I'm going to avoid that spraying that anyway. Uh, I'm going to start now with my doodle grid so I can get the proportions right and uh, get my Springer Spaniel up and my Poodle. And then as soon as all the proportions are right, I can start working in on everything, getting the background in first and then start working on dogs and uh, Hopefully it'll come together quite quickly. I'm just gonna get started. So now I'm marking out a doodle grid and that's gonna be used then for the basis of how I shape the dog's head. It's a random choice of letters and numbers and uh, I take a picture and bring it into this app called Bazaar. And then cropping down the image that I'm gonna be putting onto the doodle grid, I, um, I scale it down so that it will fit to the scale of the wall and I then position the dog's head over the doodle grid and then with using the opacity tool I then scale down the opacity so that I can see through the image and locate with all the key points of the dog's faces so where his eyes are his nose is and where the rest of the shape of the dog's head lies and the same with the poodle, I can then pinpoint where the eye is, where the end of the nose is, and where how big the mouse is. So, I'm having a little tea break now. The two dogs marked out. This one is going to be a lot easier than this one. The poodle, I am really scared of how it's going to turn out. I'm quite confident on the Springer, because it's got some lovely colours and it's lovely dark areas where the poodle is all white and it's a little bit smaller, the nose is a bit smaller, the mouth is a bit smaller, the eye is a bit smaller, everything is obviously smaller with a spray can, smaller is more difficult. So um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. So I'm going to try and get all the background in now, which is like some funky colours and things like that, a little bit abstracty. So I'm going to add all that in first before then I come in and concentrate on each dog. So um, that's the next thing, but first I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to carry on. I hope you're enjoying these videos anyway, but and if you are, like and subscribe. Cheers. Right, so I've got the background in, I've got a lot of colours, i put a little bit of a drop shadow on, let me show you. There we are. Some colour going on in the background. A little drop shadow, obviously here. And now I can start putting in the detail. Looks pretty cool. Well happy with that. So um, yeah, there's a drop shadow on my poodle. And then add in the detail now and use my swimmer. So next thing is get this painted. Okay.
So yeah, as you guys can tell, my battery on my camera ran out and uh, I had to do this little bit here now. Um, but if you guys are looking for a dog groomers in the Aberdeen area, give K9 short bark and sides uh, a shout. I put a link in the description to the uh, Facebook page so you can find them. Yeah, and uh, this painting was a bit of a challenge. I've never really painted a dog before, so uh, I was pretty pleased with the way it turned out. And uh, if you guys do like this type of stuff and want to see more, like and subscribe, and uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.